What's up, everybody? My name is Fawazi, and I would like to welcome you back to Greedfall. One of my absolute favorite games. So, in the last episode, we did a ton. I mean, a ton. Uh, we went and we got Constantine out of the villain's den. We tracked down Cabin Boy for the most part. We got the coin guard business handled and doctored the logs in the harbor master's office. Um, I think that's pretty much it as far as giving it just the, the short of what occurred. Now it's time to go and finish tracking down Jonas and see what he's got going on. So, we're going to make our way back through the city and talk to Miss Fontaine, giving her the unpleasant news that her husband's a scumbag and that their child was not taken by force, but instead was traded for services rendered by the Nauts at his request. And we'll see how she feels about all that. Hello, madam. What up? Excuse me, madam, but I haven't quite finished my inquiry yet. If you would be so courteous, I would like you to leave. I have told you all that I have to say. Come on now, stop lying. Jonas was taken away by force against his will by armed men. <sighs> that is not true. Completely false. He... Enough! With every word, you are a step closer to a prison cell. Prison? But what would be the charges? Kidnapping. Whether Jonas is your son or not, he is a naught that you kidnapped and locked up. In the eyes of the prince, you have committed a crime that puts the interests of the congregation at great risk. I beg of you, Your Excellency. Have mercy on a poor mother who is looking only to recover her child. We didn't kidnap our own son. And if you need to speak with him to be convinced, please do. He's in our warehouse, near the Coin Guard Plaza, next to the canal. I am certain that once you have heard his account, you will see the tragedy in our predicament and help us. I regret threatening that woman. You didn't have a choice. She was lying, and we need to find that boy. So, the thing I'm curious about is why I lost faction with the Congregation of Merchant for that? It's a little bit weird. I mean, come on. Like, I actually did something looking out for the Congregation of Merchant, not the other way around. Like, if I had tried to cover it up, I could see if, like having lost some form of respect etc but instead here we are be careful fontaine won't be alone he'll have his henchmen with him a handful of underlings don't scare us away right cousin let's just try to remain discreet all right so it was all in the interest of the congregation that that was done so it's very weird that they would they would do it that way Very, very weird. So, Desade, what are you doing here? I've come looking for your son. The Noughts are worried about his disappearance. Uh, those Noughts took him from us, but now we've got him back, and he'll be staying with us. Would you be so kind as to hear what I have to say, Sir Fontaine? You've taken your son against his will and have him locked up like merchandise in a warehouse. Is that what you call being a good father? If I hadn't taken him back, he would have been hauled off on one of the cursed ships. If that's what he wants, then why would you want to stop him? For his mother. She misses him so. But in the end, you may be right. My boy has changed. 
He hasn't spoken a word to me since we've been in this precarious predicament. Very well. Take the key and take him away. Cursed be the day I delivered my son unto the noughts. All children leave the nest one day or another, sir. Farewell. Well, there we go. Thanks for the key, guy. Ba, 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 da. Nice. Now we get to go in here and see what's going on. Nothing there. Okay. Hoping for some loot, but all right. So I guess we get the point back with the congregation of merchants. Abusive fathers. Yeah, they are the worst. Hey there. What's going on, fella? Who are you? My name is the Sade. I am legate of the congregation. Your captain has sent me to find you. And were you able to convince my... my father to allow me to go free? Yes. Even if I had to bend his arm a little. That doesn't surprise me. He seemed to have no intention of changing his mind. I feel more sorry for my mother. She seems so sweet and happy to see me. You don't seem to be all that close to your parents. I hadn't seen them since I was five years old. I barely remember them. They find me, capture me, and lock me up in this warehouse. Hard to grow close after all that. My family is the noughts. I am sorry for my parents, but that is the way of it now. Can I go home? Yes. You should still go and say farewell to your mother. Then find your way to the ship. I'll see you there. Nice. All right. So with finding the cabin boy, I believe that wraps up all of that wraps up all of what we needed here in uh, in Serene. So now when we go, we should be able to just go and talk to Vasco. I also, I wonder if I can tell Vasco that we, that we doctored the logs. Because I kind of feel bad about that. I wonder if we can tell Vasco about it. He'll be mad but he'll be less mad if we just come out and we're like, hey man, we did a thing. So, are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide as agreed upon. My cabin boy, Jonas, is back on ship. I have you to thank, I imagine. You do. It's a rather sad affair and though solved, leaves a broken family behind. All we can do is plot a course. No one tells the wind what to do. I do. Thank you. I didn't think you'd go to so much trouble for a cabin boy. Your actions bring you honor. I mean, not all of them. Uh, but I want to. But I want to tell him about the thing. Why can I not tell him about the thing? That seems a bit weird. All right, well. Permission to board the ship. We are ready. Certainly. But keep in mind that we'll be at sea for several months. If you have any farewells to make or any final business to put into order, now is the time. You're quite right. I do have a thing or two to put in order. Then be quick with it. There isn't much time left before the tide rolls out. Be back soon, Captain. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Hold on. We gotta go back here. We're supposed to go back and tell the tell the coin guard guy. They told us to go and tell the coin guard guy that we had secured transport. Hold on, B. Oh, remaining points. Yes, yes indeed. Uh one handed heavy weapons can be chained slightly faster. Sounds good to me. Attributes. 
Mm. Okay. So maximum life and balance. So that goes for the heaviest armors. And then this. Okay, so more health or more damage. I guess kind of split it one for one. All the way up. Oh, I get an extra point here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Divine magic ring, set trap, firearms. So this is pistols here. I wonder if... Huh. I'm just gonna rush this. I'm just gonna rush this. Attacking with one-handed weapons causes a higher loss of balance. Okay. Cool. And then the next point for talents comes next level. At level 5. You have reached your destination. Hey, guy. So you're back. Right then. What about our business? We can guarantee that your merchandise will leave with us. <sighs> Thank you, Your Excellency. And bravo, Kurt. The commander will be most pleased. The cargo shall make the voyage. But who will be at its reception once it's arrived? That shall be your next mission. Once you've reached New Serene, go and find the quartermaster. He will give you new instructions. Until then, I wish you a safe and pleasant voyage, Your Excellency. Kurt, good luck. Excellent. Cool. So that squares that away. It is now time to go and get on the ship. It is now time to go and get on the ship. The boat, the ship, the ship boat. So, I actually love ships. Are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide as agreed upon. Permission to board the ship. We are ready. Certainly. But keep in mind that we'll be at sea for several months. Yeah, I know. Several months. We have any We're good. To make or any final business to we did it. Under. Now is the time. Now we're good. Let's go. No, my house is in order. We are ready to embark. Perfect. Follow me. I am so eager to discover Tear Freddy. My isle. My new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. And they say the place is full of gigantic creatures. As big as buildings. That's right. I heard a rumor the Norths even brought one back in one of their ships. I doubt that. The Norths are strange, but they're not idiots. The beast is awoken! Those conniving, pistol-stilling, bridge-building liars. The creature was supposed to be out for days. They'll pay for this. What the hell manner of cargo are you transporting? Help! We need ropes! We must contain it! Help! Come on, let's send them a hand. Oh, that was... Alright. Whoa, fella. 
Oh. Yowza. Okay. Big boy. Big sweepy swings. Ow. How do you fare? Fine, fine. It is dead. Are you wounded? I'm well. Your lessons have proven effective. I've never seen a beast this size. It's quite extraordinary. Cousin, what a fight. You were illustrious. I'm not of the same mind. I had the feeling it was already weakened. I did nothing more than finish it off. Your humility remains a constant. But believe me, that battle was absolutely epic. Oh yeah, absolutely epic. Sure. Memory crystal allows you to reassign all skill points, tributes, and talents that you've spent to use it. Open the. <laughs> okay, fine. I wasn't reading that or anything. Sure. I don't know how we're gonna leave with the tide. Oh, well, I guess because that's not, that's not our ship. That's right. Our ship's over here. Gentlemen. <laughs> Your cousin's enthusiasm is most impressive. And this journey is his long-awaited chance to prove his worth. He has a demanding father. More likely, he's just happy to be free of this hornet's nest. I definitely know I am. That's certain. Welcome to A New World, an MMO by Amazon. <laughs> you know, honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if Amazon bought out, like, the rights to this game, at least story-wise, and then created um, New World from that.
charming welcoming committee. Gentlemen, I am Constantine of House Orsay, your new governor. I have no idea what sort of ceremony you've prepared for my arrival, but I would gladly skip it, so... <laughs> indeed, indeed, these are rather peculiar customs. I, I see, I see, it seems you were quite intent on serving me a drink. Hello? Cat got your tongue, gentlemen? Would it be those annoying beaks? <laughs> I am truly sorry these doctors should have shown a greater measure of courtesy. Thank you, dear doctors. Move along. Don't trouble the noughts. Pay no attention to them. Instead, just drink. The long voyages at sea require the appropriate treatment as soon as we land. According to our scientists, without fortifiers, you might catch your death, and that would be quite regrettable. I should have chosen death. This concoction is liquid torture. I would think that they would have warned you on the ship. Not in the slightest. And you must be Lady Morange, my predecessor. You are correct. There you are. To your health. Aha! You got your dose of bile too. Allow me to present to you Lady Morange, and to you, my dear lady, my most trusted cousin. Where is the captain? He seems to be preoccupied with some sort of admiral. Indeed. Then I will have to thank him later for this most marvelous voyage. Excellency! Lead me to the palace, I beg you. And, whenever possible, go by way of all the intriguing alleyways. I am dying with impatience to discover this new city. My city! Uh, your Excellence! We must wait for our escort! No need. Have no fear, for I am here to defend you, my lady. I've been scullied. How so? My Admiral laid me off. My cousin was nonetheless delighted with your services. I hope there was no misunderstanding. None, I'm sure of it. She just ordered me to give you any assistance you might need. This request doesn't seem to please you. Don't take offense, but it's not pleasant for a captain to abandon his ship. In any case, here I am at your service for a while. Welcome aboard there, Vasco. My dude, we get an agility accuracy person. Let's see. Poisoned coating, one hand blades and guns. Yeah. I'm about it. Heck yeah. Plus one skill. Cool. Armor breaker. Powerful attack deals more damage to armors. Plus 50%. Holy junk and next up we get to put two points into two-handed heavy weapons giving us that capability yes please could go for magic healing don't know if i'm gonna go there or not we'll see and then here we have let's see it was went vigor one um Go craftsmanship one. So bounce back and forth here. Craftsmanship and vigor. Ugh, these other ones are going to be super important, but I have a feeling it's not going to be specifically us that needs those. Oh, I think we're the only ones that actually get that. These guys all get very specific attributes at certain levels. Okay. Okay. Cool. Equipment. Weapon B. Alchemist's rapier. Ancient war hammer. The thing's pretty good. Pretty good indeed, actually. Wow, look at that stun. Not as good fury generation or um, furious attack cost, but, I mean, it is there. This thing just does an insane amount of damage. I'm going to go with this. 
We'll go with those weapons. Okay. Cool. That's good. Got ourselves a couple of heavy weapons on. That's our most effective weapon type for now. Hopefully, within the next couple of levels, we'll be able to get a... Um, get a nice big two-hander going on. Uh, ooh. Silver District. What's over here? Ooh, I see a hammer. Hello? Hey there, guy. Greetings. You look like someone who would know how to use a blade. If you're looking for the best steel, you're in the right place. Weapons, armors, ammunition, I have it all. And if you have a special request, my associates will be glad to make it for you. Glad to hear it. Um, you know, I would have you make something for me, but I want to make it myself. Can I utilize your goodies? Yeah, no. Um, where can I do crafting? So, maybe I have to do it through the blacksmith? Hold on. Oh, it's a great pleasure to see you again at the forge. What can I do for you? I have something crafted. Okay. Craftsmanship allows you to upgrade your weapons and armor. Science allows you to create potions and traps. You'll need knowledge to be able to use the crafting table. To obtain it, spend points in the desired talents. Use certain pieces of equipment or companions that can give you a bonus. Each talent point you unlock... Uh... Each talent point will unlock new recipes. Uh, you also need ingredients which you can buy or find while exploring. Okay. Okay, so I can go and... Okay, I can recycle a bunch of this stuff. Heck yeah. No, not help. Recycle. Nice. Recycle a bunch of this stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh yeah, there we go. Get all this stuff nice and recycled. There we go. Um, recycle this. So, what can I do with this? Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Okay, so those are... Oh, oh! Okay, so I could technically upgrade the... Well, heck yeah! Boom, just like that. Okay, so that's done. What about the stick, though? Wooden handle with steel reinforcements, okay. That's increased armor damage. Two-tonal metal. Okay, so that's... You know, I'm sure armor damage will also be a very powerful thing to go for. Like, raw physical damage seems nice, but you're probably going to want a good bit of armor damage on there as well. Though, I... Having, like, one weapon that's really strong armor, and then one weapon that's really strong just pure physical, I'm sure that that's got to be a thing. Ooh, look at those. Ooh, look at those. Heck yeah, dude. That thing's fantastic. So... Then with this, if I go in here, this has got no upgrades. But if I take this and I add... 
I mean, look at how much armor that already has. That already has armor damage for days. So then if I take and I add armor damage. Oh, yeah. Look at that armor damage this thing has now. 54. So this thing does 64 more damage, 62 more damage. Just straight. And then this does 38 more armor damage. Okay. Jeez Louise. So, pull out the hammer. How do I... Can I switch on the fly? How do I... Hmm... Can I, can I swap weapons? Hold on. I gotta see if I can swap weapons. Controls. Game controls. There we go. Stealth stance. How do I switch to weapon B? Shortcuts. You can switch fighting style with V. But that doesn't switch my weapons. Switch to the skill tree. Stats page. Change targets. Do secondary attack. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. That's really weird. So, oh, okay. So V is what you use. So you would get in here with this hammer and you would give them the business and then swap over and give them that one. Okay, cool. Sweet. Good to know. Well, we learned a thing or two. Attention, soldier. Let me pass. I must see the chief of your village. <laughs> Whatever could be so funny. Now, who would you be to seek an audience with the governor? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnir. My mother is Amal, the chief of our clan. I am here as an emissary of my people, and I must see your chief, your governor. And so you are a princess, then? A what? Let her pass. Your Majesty, I shall present you to the Governor. Come. Princess, Majesty, you are most confusing. But thank you for your help. Hmm. You know, Kurt, I love you like a brother. But I need Siora. Heck yeah, dude. Come on, girl. Let's go see... Cousin. Technically, we're out of time for this episode. But it's alright. We gotta we gotta help this girl here. Get up and see the old cousin. There you are, dear cousin. What is this? Who is this amazing person in your company? I am Siora. Daughter of Vladnid, daughter of Meb. My mother is the Mal, the chief of our clan. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Siora. <gasps> this is incredible. You look so much alike, you could be related. If you would allow me, princess, I would like to confer a mission to my cousin. You need to visit the governors of the bridge and Teleme to give them my formal regards, that sort of thing but also to discover what they've managed to learn. They've been here much longer than we have. Perhaps they've made some inroads to finding a cure for the Malachor. Forgive me, Mal, but I have a request for you. My people needs your help. 
I thought we might discuss matters together at leisure, but please, speak your piece. The Lions, the Bridge Alliance and my people are at war. My mother has sent me to you in search of allies. I fear that without your help, our clan will suffer great horrors. We have already lost so many souls. Hmm. This seems a sensible request. You know, though, we cannot go to war with our neighbors. Perhaps there is a way to negotiate a ceasefire, the time to see things more clearly. Excellent idea. I would be completely lost without you. Go and parley with, um, the Queen, dear cousin. Try and put an end to confrontations for the time being. I will come with you. It will take more than one person to convince my mother to lay down our weapons. Perfect. Take Kurt along with you and anyone you feel useful. I've been told that the roads are not safe. Safe travels, dear cousin. And watch out for yourself. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Well, thanks, cousin. I appreciate that. Alright, well, as much as I would love to uh, head off and just start making peace with all of the uh, wonderful factions here on Tier for d that's all the time that I've got for this episode. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. And, uh, of course ring the bell to uh, be notified when the next episode drops. Until then, my friends, take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and keep moving forward. I'll see you in the next episode.